5 Reasons Why Portugal Will Win The World Cup Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, welcome, and consider subscribing to my channel and click that little bell notification below. Have you decided which team you'll be cheering for on the 18th of December yet? Yeah, I know, it's not an easy decision to make. So let me tell you why you can root for Portugal. Number 1. They have a long history of experiences. The national team, also known as the Seleso das Quinas, is handled by the Portuguese Football Federation, one of UEFA's founding members. Portugal's national football team played its first international match in 1921 and competed in the FIFA World Cup, finishing third in 1966. After reaching the final UEFA Euro 2004 with their golden generation and finishing fourth at the 2006 FIFA World Cup, Portugal's first major trophy came in 2016 with the European Championship. This was followed by the inaugural UEFA Nations League in 2019, making it the Portuguese's second major tournament title in three finals. Number 2. Their Coach Fernando Santos is the team's current head coach. He was in fine form on the day he completed his eighth year as Portugal's coach, leading his team to a 4-0 victory over the Czech Republic in Prague. Santos said the best is yet to come, referring to his high expectations for the Seleso at the World Cup in 2022. Number 3. Their Great Team Squad Portugal is a very strong team that will undoubtedly be a contender for the FIFA World Cup 2022. The Federação Portuguesa de Futebol, or FPF, will name their best 26 men to travel to Qatar for the FIFA World Cup on or before the 13th of November. Until then, let me share some of our best guesses for the team. Goalkeepers Rui Patricio, Jose Sa, Claudio Ramos, Diego Rui Silva, Antonio Lopez, Diogo Costa. Defenders Pepe, Ruben Diaz, João Cancelo, Nuno Mendes, Mario Rui, Diogo Delo, Tiago Diallo. Attackers Cristiano Ronaldo, Diogo Jota, João Felix, Rafael Liao, Ricardo Horta. Midfielders Vitina, William Carvalho, Bernardo Silva, João Mario, Bruno Fernandes. Number 4. The Ronaldo Effect There's no denying that Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest players of all time. Even at 34, he's still right there with Lionel Messi at the top. Ronaldo's playstyle has significantly changed to a more seasoned and typical goalscorer than the player who used to dribble past multiple players and execute long runs. It shows that he has adapted to his old age but still has limitations. That being said, he has consistently and dependably scored for his teams for a long time. He has delivered quite frequently in recent years, winning consecutive UCLs, top scorer awards, and most recently, the Series A Best Player Award. As one of the fittest players on the planet, CR7 has become the walking, breathing, and scoring antithesis to the adage that a player cannot maintain the same level of performance once he reaches 30. Number 5. The Emerging Talents There are several talented players who, if properly guided, could turn Portugal into a favorite in 2022. In this case, the teenager, João Felix, who has been the most expensive transfer of the current window, is leading the charge. His transfer to Atletico Madrid was widely publicized. In his own league, the Portuguese player had a fantastic season with 15 goals and 7 assists, demonstrating fantastic attacking and dribbling skills and drawing comparisons to Cristiano Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes, a fellow Portuguese league player, finished second in both categories with 20 goals and 13 assists, demonstrating his versatility as a midfielder. Add to that the young talent of Goncalo Guedes, who scored the game-winning goal in the Nations League final, and Gelson Martins. You can see how a slight nudge in the right direction could pay dividends. Bernardo Silva deserves his spotlight after an outstanding season at Manchester City. He was instrumental in Manchester City winning the domestic treble, particularly the Premier League. All of his attacking abilities, whether passing, dribbling, or shooting, were spectacular. So that's all for today's video. If you made it this far, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.